What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Range presented by Twilight Nine. This week, we are in Detroit for the Rocket Mortgage Classic. The defending champion is Bryson DeChambeau. The rest of the field looks pretty good. Patrick Reed, Hideki Matsuyama, our guy Max Homa is here. So let's jump into the preview. The golf course. We are at Detroit Golf Club this week. Par 72, going to play a little over 7,300 yards for the week. Poana Grass Greens, Donald Ross Design. The front nine is very tree-lined, but on the back, it opens up. You need to make a lot of birdies on the back nine. Bryson closed with three straight last year. If you're going to get this golf course, it has to be the back nine. Some key stats. So driving distance wives, we've seen Bryson DeChambeau win, and we've seen Nate Lashley win. It doesn't really play to a certain type of player when it comes to drive a distance, but when the winning score is going to be 19 to 25 under maybe even this season, You need to make a lot of birdies. So putting and approach play is going to be huge. Your putter needs to be hot this week. So hopefully we can target some guys that had a hot putter at the Travelers. And hopefully that momentum carries forward to this week. Our first bet is going to be one of those guys, Mr. Kevin Kisner. He had a weird week in Connecticut, but he did end with a final round 63 and in a tie for fifth. Last season on tour at this event, Kiz finished solo third behind Bryson DeChambeau and Matthew Wolf. His iron play for everybody that made the cut last week at the Travelers was very middle of the pack, but his putter was hot. He was third in strokes gained putting. He hits a lot of fairways, which helps anywhere you play golf. He's 18th on tour this season. So with a hot putter, I think he can contend again this year. So we're going to take Kevin Kisner for a top 20 at plus 135. A name you probably didn't expect to see on the card this week, and that is Mark Hubbard. He missed four straight cuts from the RBC Heritage to the Wells Fargo but since then has made five straight. His best finish of all those cuts made came last week at the Travelers with the T13. Last year in Detroit, Mark Hubbard tied for 12th. Stats-wise, he's not going to knock your socks off, but he hits a lot of fairways, and he was able to finish inside the top 15 in Connecticut last week while losing strokes in approach. If his iron play is just okay this week, I think his putter can get hot. He can make a lot of birdies. We're going to take Mark Hubbard for a top 40 crazy value here at plus 260. Mav McNeely is our next pick. He's had two pretty solid starts in a row. Top 20 at the Charles Schwab, top 30 at the Travelers. He's had some high finishes this season with a top five at the RBC Heritage, and he was runner-up at Pebble Beach. In 2020, McNeely had a top 10 finish at this golf tournament, so we're going to take him for a top 40 also at plus 135. I picked Scotty Scheffler last week to win, a dude that is just due for a win on the PGA Tour, and so is this guy. I mention it every single time he's on the card. He doesn't even have tour status yet, and that is Will Zalatoris. His finishes kind of allude to he's been struggling of late, miscut at the U.S. Open, T-59 at the Charles Schwab. He did have a top 10 at the PGA Championship to start before that. Stats-wise, he's just not struggling. He's still one of the best iron players on tour, third in strokes and approach. He's 24th in distance, which is going to help you pretty much at any golf course in America. The only thing, his putter stinks. It stinks out loud. Though, he did top 10 at Kiowa while losing strokes with the putter, so sometimes he just doesn't need it. He's going to have to be a little bit better with the putter this week to make enough birdies to contend, but we're going to take Will Zalatoris for a top 10 at plus 200. Doc Redman is the last one. He is going to be a guy to watch this week. He's made six of seven cuts and just finished T2 at the Palmetto Championship. His stroke gain numbers over his last 24 rounds look very, very good across the board. In 2020, he was T21 here. And in 2019, he shot 62 on Monday to qualify for the golf tournament, then shot 68, 67, 67, 67 to finish second behind Nate Lashley. Over the first two playings of this golf tournament, Redmond leads all players in score to par at 32 under. So we're going to take Doc Redmond for a top 30 this week at plus 155. And that's it, guys. That's the range presented by Twilight Nine for the Rocket Mortgage Classic this week. Enjoy the golf this weekend, and I will talk to you guys next time.